Our car inventory sample allows us to record cars on our lot. First we select a make. Then we can select a model and style. Notice that the model is filtered by the make. And the style is filtered by the model. Let's review the steps required to implement dependent lookups. Let's proceed to create our car inventory app. Create a new project and assign the name car inventory. Go ahead and press create. Press next. Let's connect to our cars database. Let's create models for our tables. First, let's begin with a cars entity. We can see that foreign keys have been automatically detected. The field make name has been borrowed from the make table to be used as an alias for the make ID lookup. Model name has also been borrowed to be used as an alias for the model ID lookup. Note that model make name has also been automatically included. Due to the dependent nature of our lookups, this make name will always be exactly the same as the alias field of the make ID lookup. We can therefore remove this extraneous field. Style name has also been added. We will want to remove the style model name and make name as well. Finally, let's remove the extraneous word name from the labels of make name, model name, and style name. Let's see a sample of the requested data. Switch to the data tab. Disable raw data. We can see a sample of the data that will be displayed to the user. Go ahead and save the cars model. Let's also create models for makes. Model. And style. Proceed to generate the application. Once generation is complete, let's navigate to the Cars page. Let's create a new car. We can see that first we can select a make. Next, let's select a model. There is an obvious issue here. We can select any model unfiltered by the make. We will need to configure dependencies for the model and style lookups. Switch back to the app generator, click on the project name, and press design. Switch to the controllers tab. Expand the cars controller. Expand fields. Double click on the model ID field. First, let's change the item style to list box. Under context fields, specify make ID is equal to make ID. This will pass the local make ID value as a filter to the lookup field make ID. Go ahead and save the field. Next, double-click the Style ID field. Change the item style 
to radio button list. Specify a context field of model ID equal to model ID. This will pass the selected model ID from our record as a filter to the style ID lookup. Go ahead and save. Let's give our application a test drive. Go ahead and press browse. Navigate to the cars page. Let's create a new car. Enter a make using the make lookup. Notice that a list box displaying a list of models appears. These models have been filtered by the make. Changing the make will display a different set of models. The same story applies to the style lookup. We can also create a new style. Notice that the model ID has been pre-filled depending on the dependency of the lookup.